Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Scribble Noughts with me, Braz and Braden. Uh, it's been a while since uh, Maxwell and I have uh, have helped the peoples of wherever we are. I've been, had been a, bit, been a little sick, had a bit of the flu, been under the influence of the influenza, and um, and having me able to play. So I do apologize, I'm still recovering. So if I sniffle a bit or blow my nose or maybe give a little cough, uh, I can't help it. Uh, sincerest apologies. Anyway, we are moving along. Um, there were a few suggestions for the the pipe. There's that. Uh, let's actually go there and see if we can if we can get that toxic waste with some of the suggestions that we had. Let's head on down. What's all these fishies? They don't know what they're doing. Like, where are we? Okay, so we've got this toxic waste over here. And uh, it says there must be a way better way to dispose of this waste. Indeed. Um, okay, some of the suggestions were to put it in a uh, in some sort of container, which is what I would have assumed. Maybe like a lead box. Uh, whoa! Uh, no, we can't pick these things up. So, so we can't actually place them in anything, which could be a bit of a problem. Um, what we, what we could use maybe some sort of um, some sort of sealant, uh, some sort of sealing agent to, to to wrap around these uh, these barrels and prevent the toxic waste from leaking out. Cling wrap. Uh, attach. Uh, f attach. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's done nothing. Pick up. Oh. Well, that's one way. Just let's throw it away. Um, okay, what what is this? Immovable safe. Can we put it in the safe? Out of interest. Uh, pick up. Pick. Uh, okay, and put. Uh, no. Um, there's a crown. Let's throw some. Let's throw some of this this rubbish away. My mouse is being a bit. Oh, I can't use it. Uh, empty. Oh, there's my safe. Uh, remove. No. My mouse is being a bit gay. I don't know why. Let me just take it off the charge. Maybe the charge is causing problems. Pick up. No. How about a giant vacuum? Let's go giant. Giant vacuum. Cleaner. Will that do the trick? Oh, what? Well, it's picked it up. <laughs> um, hold that. And vacuum. No. Okay, we got rid of that cling wrap. Um, no. Okay, well, let's just make it... Uh, can we just make it disappear? Uh, no, or maybe non-toxic? Well, there we go. Quick solution to our little problem. I know it's a bit cheaty, but let's just get the, the points for this, the one little star right bit. Oh, toxic. There we go, clear waters! And, uh, no, we don't want coral, we want this, we can, oh, we can turn it on. Underwater, hmm, okay, get rid of that. And, let's get out of here. Let's head off to a new area. Look, that's done. Woohoo! Um, that's the city. I thought we did everything in the city. Six out of eight. We missed some. Huh. Let's go. We'll go back there another time. Let's head off to this wooden-looking structure. Oh, that might be bricks. Let's see. What is this? This is the Virgil Gallery. All right. So we're heading off to a gallery. Art gallery, perhaps? Oh, yeah. Look at this. We got some displays. It's a security guard. Here we are. Alright. So, vision. Lady here needs our help. Which one of these artifacts is a fraud? Help me figure out which one. Okay, so we've got these three artifacts. She needs to identify which one's a fraud. Um, who? Okay. 
are there any specific tools one would use uh, I'm sure there is uh, for 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 analyzing artifacts and you know bits and bobs fossils and that sort of thing um, I guess every archaeologist starts off with a brush and a sort of magnifying glass magnifying glass oh I misspelled that let's see mortifying glass no uh, mag magnific? Magnific? What's a magnific? Oh, I don't know. No, <laughs> definitely not. Magnifying glass, come on. Magnifying. Did I? Oh, okay, right. Must have been wrong last time. Here we go. Do you want it? Oh, well, that was easy. Gosh. She found it. Uh, good job. Click. Oh. Uh, no, we don't need to go to Lily yet. We still have lots of levels to do. Hello, ma'am. I need something to connect these bones together. To connect the bones. Well, uh, glue would be a good place to start. Do we have anything interesting? Hmm. How would you connect bones? Sinew. Sin sinew? Uh, uh, hmm. Doesn't, doesn't look like they have it. Uh, what about muscles? Muscle, muscles, muscles, muscle. There we go. Have some muscle, or, or don't have some muscle. Um, let's take that. Click on bone. Throw and pick up. Oh, no, we don't throw the bone. Let's pick that, pick that bone up. And we want to. No. Okay, that's not working. Drop this thing. Go on. There you go. Um, don't break it. Gosh. Glue? Glue's always a good one. Uh, oh my. <laughs> Them bones. That was easy. Gosh, look at him. It's impressive. Look, it's a T Rex. Some mini little arms. Massive skull. And this, that's a penguin. What is a penguin doing with a. Uh, a bag, a giant lipstick, and a, a cockerel uh, flabby dee thingy -dee. Uh Help me get past the guard and the security camera so I can take back my diamond. Who's got your diamond? Oh, is this your diamond up here? Hmm. Okay, so there's a security camera we need to distract. And there's a security guard. So maybe security guard wants a, a, a sexy... No, sexy's not there. A naked, um, handsome man. And let's turn him around. Just for you. No, for you. Uh, she's not interested. Maybe, I mean, she does look a bit butch. Maybe she wants a sexy female partner. Who knows? Um... I guess we could always just plonk down another criminal. But let's get rid of... <coughs> oh, there we are. Is my cough? Please. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, we want... Black spray paint. Oh, Zay. Okay. Now... Can I fly? Oh. Hey, dude. What you doing with my spray paint? I <laughs> okay. I didn't even know what you wanted, but okay, fine. I want another can of black spray paint, please. And I'm going to give myself an ability of flying. Okay, now let's paint. Do you think that worked? Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Now let it plop down a criminal. A different one. Another one for her. Oops, he's in the painting. Now he's part of the painting. Oh my gosh, okay, well. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh, give it a... Let's, let's do a non... a non-painted criminal. Criminal. Okay. Where's the cop? Cop? Oh my gosh, you're useless. You are useless. You know what? We're going to just put you to sleep. Let's just go 
tranquilizer gun. Okay, and uh, attack. Pew. There he goes. No, 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 you can stop attacking. Thank you. Well, there we have it. We've completed three, even though we only meant to complete two. Our, our friend here, Mr. Le, Le Mal, has, uh, has taken my paint can. And, um, I guess he painted maybe this guy's clothing black or something? I don't know. Who knows? It's... Oh, we actually have to click. Head on up. Next floor. What have we got here? Who are you, my friend? Finish my exhibit. Wax Columbus. Columbus, Christopher Columbus. Well, he uh, he he sailed around the world. He discovered many continents and places. We'll give him a little rowboat. Shall we give him a rowboat? A little rowboat for you. Hey, hey! I don't know if that's how he got to the to the new world. Um, but anyway, okay. Who are you, madam? Wax Cleopatra. Finish my exhibit. Cleopatra, Egyptian. Um, Egyptians obviously have sphinxes and pyramids and uh, Moses. Oh no, Moses would be a pronoun. Not allowed. Not allowed. Uh, I know he wasn't with Cleopatra, but you know that's Egypt history, biblical stuff, whatever. Um, hmm. What shall we give Cleopatra? Milk? Didn't she bath in milk? A bath. Uh, a milk bath. Uh, milk, milky, milky bath. There we go. No, you're not feeling clean enough. No, okay, well, you are clean enough, I guess. Um, a pharaoh. I, my spelling, atrocious. Woohoo! Look at that. And pharaoh's hidden. Let's just get him on the sphinx. There he is, overseeing the land, overseeing Egypt. Now, who are you, kind sir? We've got Benjamin Franklin. Uh, Benjamin Franklin. Well, Franklin, 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 he... Electricity. Kites, keys. Uh, there's a yeah, electricity bolt. Just uh, telling us right there. So shall we give him a kite and key? Uh, okay. Well, let's just go kite. Let's give him a kite. Toy. That's why kite. Here we go. Take that. Woohoo! This is easy, man. And you are George Washington, president. George Washington. You have a. Wh why are you saying a sword? Do you want a sword? Um. Hmm. George Washington, president. El presidente. I don't know much American history. Uh, he wants a sword. Let's give him a sword. There's your sword. Oh, that's easy enough. Never tell a lie. Cherry tree. A cherry tree. Delicious. Um, how are we doing? I think we've covered all these exhibits. Um, what else do we have down here? How eerie. And very slow. It's very slow when I move in this mode for some reason. Don't know why. Anyway. Okay, so it's only this star challenge. Star challenge. Here we go. Help Maxwell provide art that will be sure to please patrons of the museum. All right, let's go. <coughs> Excuse me, small cough. Okay, so we've got some blank artworks. Is opening day at the museum? Place something in the frames that will be sure to please the museum's patrons. What is this thing? A burning man. Well, what else makes a burning man uh, happy than uh, to burn fire? Maybe some, maybe matches. Maybe, maybe, maybe matches. Let's go with matches. No, no matches. Match. Pink. Oh, he liked that. <laughs> it's a match. Next to a tree. Here comes somebody else. Let's see. Oh my. Medusa. Um, Medusa slain by Jason. 
and the Argonauts, I believe. Argonauts. Arg Argo. Arg Aeronaut. What's an a No, man, that's an Aeronaut. That's not gonna. He'll probably be turned stone. No? What the hell? Uh. I don't. I, I don't understand how this guy. Whoops. How this guy made her happy. Anyway, we'll put him in there. We've got a spook. Spook. It's a me. It's a Mario. Oh. Um. Obviously not. Not that kind of spook. Um. What would Mr. Spooky want? Spooky wants maybe a Ouija board. A Ouija board. Did I misspell that? A Ouija board. Uh, no. Is it is it separate words? No, it doesn't know what a Ouija board is. Um, a ghost usually found in haunted houses, um, and that sort of thing. Uh, a dead body. A corpse. Body, torso. I'm gonna go with corpse. Full corpse, thank you. There you go. Haunt the corpse. Or maybe you're from the corpse, rather, because haunting a corpse would serve no purpose. Hmm. Okay, we've got your little garden gnome, I think. A gnome. A gnome. A gnome. Mythical creature. Maybe more mythical goodies. Maybe a unicorn. What you say? Do you want to go ride unicorn? Oh, he likes that. He does like that. Oh, sweetness. Easy peasy. Quite contrasy. Now that ghost, okay, I was about to say, you can't go flying off. But look at me, I'm all done up in my little painting outfit here. Looking very, very slick. I'm quite the artist, I must say. Look at this, let's admire my works for a moment. Oh, isn't that a beautiful match? We can put that match in the cloud, just to call it abstract. Um, mm, I like it. This one, I don't have a clue how that worked. What a pilot and Medusa have in common? Maybe you know. Give me a, give me a hint. Maybe you know. Um, dead body and a unicorn. Oh, it's pretty. There we go. I wonder. I know it's, it's not going to be in here, but just out of curiosity. No. <coughs> All right. Well, that was easy enough. Um, piggy bank. Piggy bank. Oh, can I empty it? Oh, sweet. Money. Oh, and a coin. Um, uh, star. Finicky patrons completed. Star rights nine. We're moving up in the world, peoples. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, there's that piece of flesh. Let's, let's get rid of that. We don't leave flesh lying around a museum. Come on. That's just a bit dis uh, disrespectful to the owners of the museum. The curator of the museum. Um, let's see. Uh, we've got this place left, the subway, uh, before the end of this, uh, before we end this uh, little section that we initially started with. And then we've got this little area here. So let's go to the underground line. There's only five uh, little challenges and one star challenge. Welcome to the underground line. Very linear, isn't it? There we are. Okay, so we have our first pa our first uh, customer. I'm so hungry, and this machine is empty. Okay, so we've got a friend. He has an empty snack machine. Um, obviously, we could just, uh, s um, I guess, spawn in here a, a snack bar or a, or Coca Cola or something. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> just have to clear the throat. Um, but that would be boring. So, I have an idea. Why not next episode, I answer this, but I answer it with your suggestion. So, I'm going to leave you with this challenge. Give me a incredibly creative and funny and bizarre idea that you think could solve this little problem. Uh, again, I'm so hungry and this machine is empty. Hungry George. Although that is more gorge than George, but anyway, hungry George. I mean, you could you could make an adjective and say he's full. 
where's the fun in that? Really now. So yes, a challenge to you who who's watching. Uh, what are we going to do about Hungry Gorge over here, Hungry George, uh, and this machine? Uh, it's not necessary that we use the machine, obviously, but maybe we can incorporate it somehow. So, so yeah, in the comments, uh, do leave a suggestion or two of some of the creative ways you would attempt to solve this little uh, conundrum, and I will do that. I'll do that in the next episode. So. Until then, please do subscribe, like, comment, uh, favorite, and all the rest of it. Um, if you've enjoyed this episode, and you're enjoying the series in, a, in general. Um, obviously, the more you enjoy it, the, the quicker and faster I will make more episodes. So this has been Brazen Braden, and this is uh, me playing Scribble Notes. Uh, I hope you all have a pleasant rest of the week, and I'll catch you around. Bye-bye.